Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Ian Perel and I am a motion graphic designer over at Adrian Graphics and Marketing. Today I will be showing you how to render out a project within After Effects to have a transparent background. Now not a lot of people understand how to do this. Um, it's slightly a beginner so it'll be a really easy video to do for you guys. Um, I wanted to show you guys this um, it's I had it within three different programs because I started in Illustrator then I go to After Effects and then Premiere um, just to do it and I'll do it really quick for you all right let's get started so I'm gonna go through all the steps from Adobe Illustrator to After Effects to Premiere for you guys so in Adobe Illustrator what I did is I imported a photograph of the Tower Bridge in Sacramento and I live traced it so that I can have a vectorized image and I removed the background and once you get all of those steps finished you export it as a PNG file now when you export it as a PNG file you're allowed to have a transparent background so I'm gonna hop into Adobe After Effects and I am going to import the bridge PNG now I already have everything imported and animated so you guys don't have to sit through all my extra animation. So once I do that, I'm going to drag the PNG down into the timeline and I'm going to turn on this toggle transparency grid. You want to make sure that you have this on so that you can see that there's stuff behind this that you don't, that you aren't going to have in your video once you export it. So I see, as you see I already animated it and I like the way that it is so I'm gonna go and this is the key part of exporting so you're going to file export add to render queue you're gonna go down to the bottom and you're gonna change the output module you're gonna click on that and click format options now you want to change the video codec to animation and then under channels you're gonna change RGB to RGB plus alpha now what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to have the assets in the foreground plus an alpha channel behind it. Now right here usually you want to keep this off because it's just extra data that you don't really need to have. You click OK, change the output, and I already saved it so you're going to save it to the proper place and then use it in Premiere. Alright so we're going to hop over to Premiere. I already have everything imported so I'm just going to show you a moment. So you're gonna import your file, the bridge that, that I made, and then whatever video that you want underneath it. So now when you go from there, you're going to actually have the video underneath, under video one, and then you're going to place your transparent background, your transparent title over it. So what I did was I already imported it and everything, and I spaced it out the way that I wanted and then I added it over the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am really excited that I get to create these After Effects tutorials for you guys. Um, it helps me if you guys leave a comment. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you wanna know or understand about this, this program. I am very well versed in After Effects. I've used it for almost five years now and I've digging constantly in and trying to learn new things about it every day and it's it's a huge program so if you guys have any sticking points that you don't really understand like how to move past something please reach out to me um, leave a comment and I will try to get my I will try to get back to you guys on that. 